These five AI app ideas have huge potential for 2025. And if you start one of these now, you could become like one of these people who are generating millions of dollars a year. So are you ready to make 2025 your breakout year? Then here are five AI app ideas that you can just steal. And no, none of these ideas require to learn how to code to build them. So this first idea comes from a quote that I absolutely love, which is, it's easy to hide behind big goals and dreams. It's much harder to hide behind individual tasks. And although I probably got that quote a little bit wrong, in a world where we're constantly bombarded by endless to-do lists and tasks, the larger goals that we set for ourselves can sometimes continually be procrastinated. So this AI app would help you reach your goal, but how would you actually do that? Well, there's a concept that I live by and love teaching the students in my program, which is that one thing. Like what is the one task that you need to work on today that will actually move the needle of your business. And if you're able to figure out and accomplish that one thing every day, you're getting so much closer to your goal. So I'd call this AI app something like task by task. And it would basically break down this goal into individual tasks that you could do that would take no more than half an hour a day. Now, each one of these tasks would have very specific instructions and tools on how to actually implement it or do that task. And the task would also include notifications so you wouldn't forget to do it on a daily basis. So let's talk about the no code and AI tools we could use to build this thing. First of all, I would kick off the MVP with something quite simple, probably leveraging things like software and Airtable, maybe Make or Zapier for the automations. And through these automations, I would tap into an AI model like ChatGPT, which would be prompted so it could grab that big goal, break it down into individual tasks, and then I could have those instructions inside of the specific task. Now, I could also use Bubble if I want to build a more complex version of a web app. If I want to build a mobile app, I might go with something like Glide for something simple, or maybe Flutterflow for something a bit more complex. And because you're probably wondering how you would make money from this app, here's the business model I suggest. We would use a freemium model here, so basically people could create a first goal and track it for free, but then you could charge a small amount like $4.99 a month to have multiple goals and to have the in-depth AI instructions. And if you were to start this from complete scratch today, I would start out by building a landing page in a software like Card, structure the value proposition very clearly and start collecting people's emails in parallel, build out the MVP and then start getting feedback from these early users who at first would be for free then we'd wanna test out the business model. And the more distractions people have, the more of a market you have to fill. And while we're on the topic of getting customers, here's another idea that I came up with because frankly, lately, I just haven't been posting that much on LinkedIn at all. And that's because I prioritize YouTube. So I asked myself, how could I create something that would make me like the Tony Stark of LinkedIn posts? Really, what if I could just turn my voice into highly optimized LinkedIn posts? Okay, so just for fun, let's call this thing voiced in. Now let's talk about how this thing would actually work. Well, basically it would be an AI app where you can talk to your phone and basically what you're saying is being transcribed. Then you would have AI grab the transcription and then it would automatically generate a post for LinkedIn. Now, of course you'd be able to review and edit that before even choosing to post it on LinkedIn but by simply training it on the best frameworks and then adding your tone, your voice to it it, you'd be able to get some pretty good results. In fact, I'll probably build this one for you guys and give you access to it so you can see what I'm talking about. That's a pretty good idea. Subscribe and you'll see it in one of the future videos. So what tools would you use to build this? Well, there's a no-code tool called Glide that just released a feature that basically does audio to text. And it's actually a pretty easy platform to learn then you could have an automation or connect via API to be able to send that to ChatGPT. And then within Glide, you could have an editable experience where people could edit it and then copy and paste it, send it to LinkedIn. Now in terms of business model here, it would allow people to have five free generations per month. Then they would have a relatively cheap, maybe $9.99 a month to get access to maybe 50 generations per month. And then I could consider something like an enterprise plan where I could charge per user, per company. And of course I would kick this off by building a simple landing page with an offer and start collecting emails. So that's it, Voiced In is ready for you. And if you have no idea how to structure an offer or to test the market or to start building an email list, then definitely go and check out our course bundle because we have a full course that talks just about that. You'll find the link for that in the description. My friends, now let's talk about pugs. What, you mean those adorable fur balls that get together and have conferences just for pugs? That's pretty much exactly who I mean. This guy over here and this guy over here buddies. And I want to talk about them because this next idea is called Pet Mate. In my lifetime, I've owned five dogs. And there's one thing I know about dogs. Every single one of them is completely different. And dog owners like myself are willing to spend a lot of money to take good care of their dogs. But when it's your first time owning a new breed of dog, you need to have a completely new tailored plan to their needs. So this AI app would be a canine companion. It would be trained on research papers done about different breeds of dogs. And by simply inputting the breed and the age of your dog, it would provide you with all of the recommended advice 
you might need to take good care of him. And you could provide a huge set of instructions completely for free. But for a small subscription, you could also charge for reminders, detailed care plan, health tracking, and other premium features too. Not to mention that you could recommend very specific products for each breed of dog, meaning that there's also an opportunity for affiliate marketing while helping dog owners really treat their pets right. So for this app, I would probably build the first version with Softer, Airtable, and Make. And then afterwards, I would potentially jump into a mobile app with Flutterflow. But before we go on to the next idea, I want to thank our sponsor, Pugtopia. That's not true. Okay, Christian, that's enough. Leave the pugs alone. So this next idea, you would want to target to YouTube creators. And I came up with this idea because I create YouTube videos and sometimes I don't know what kind of videos to create. You, my friends, who watch these videos and subscribe to this channel, comment in my comment section for each one of the videos. And behind each one of those comments, there is some very valuable insight. These comments have helped me make better better versions of videos. They've also given me ideas for what to build in some of the videos I have. And sometimes I even get great recommendations for next videos. So this idea would actually help you scrape the comment sections of your videos and leverage AI to transform that into highly valuable insight. Now here, I would start off by using an automation tool like Make. I would then have Airtable, which would be the database where I would store all of the information. And then I would connect Airtable to something like Softer or Glide to be able to represent all of the learnings or insight inside of a beautiful dashboard. And to gather the information from YouTube, I would probably use a tool called Dumpling. Now for the business model here, I would probably charge something like $24.99 for a simple plan and potentially have another plan, which would be maybe at $49. And then I would try targeting different sizes of influencers. Now, the ideas I just mentioned are all software businesses, which means that you probably have to invest a little bit of money before you start getting returns on your investment. So this next idea is really focused on generating cash now. And in a world where most businesses are trying to keep up with the AI generation, I think there's a big opportunity in simply creating an AI agency focused on helping people get more sales. That's right, you could build simple voice agents and chat bots that would help people get more sales for their business. And then instead of charging them upfront, you could just take a percentage of the additional revenue that you bring to the company, meaning that you would only have to invest a little bit of time to learn some of these tools and you could create voice agents, you could create chat bots to take away a lot of the heavy lifting without having to invest much money upfront. For this, I would probably start off by learning automatic platforms because those allow you to tap into all sorts of AI. So think of Make or Zapier, for example. I would then look into VoiceFlow to create AI voice agents. If you're looking for customer support, AidBase is an awesome platform as well. And ChatBase could be a great option too. But here's the bad news, my friend. Nothing that I've just said is useful unless you take the right approach to launching your business. But you are in luck because I've created a full video right here that teaches you how to go from idea to first paying customers to then growing a business and even selling a business. It's a two hours and 19 minute video. And if you can't sit through that, then entrepreneurship might just not be for you. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel. Let's go.